Hello everyone. This is a video to show you how to recover your router if it's been infected by the Marai virus attack. If it has been infected then most likely you won't have internet access via the router. Um, you will need to download a firmware patch for your infected model and you should record your internet access information that you have. Disconnect the DSL cable and restart the router. Then reset the device then log into the device again and uh, re-enter the login information. So first we'll show you how to download the latest firmware. Now since the router probably hasn't got internet access you could use your, your 3G or 4G connection on your mobile phone to download the firmware to your laptop. If you don't know how to do that then see a YouTube video uh, that we made for, for how to do that. Look at the chart as shown in the video. Now find the, your model name. Then uh, hold on control on your keyboard and click the link as shown. This will take you directly to our Zyxo support center which has the latest firmware for your model. Click the download link that you see and it will download the, the firmware directly to your, to your laptop or computer. Save it and unzip it and uh, we will use this later after we reset to the factory defaults. Okay, next we're going to uh, disconnect the DSL cable on your router and restart it. So push the button to uh, uh, turn it off, wait 5 seconds. To turn it on again. The power LED will blink and then it will turn steady green when it's fully restarted. Now we're going to show you how to record your broadband internet access information that you'll need uh, for after you reset the factory, uh, after you reset to the factory defaults. So connect an ethernet cable uh, to the LAN port of the router, uh, your computer or, or laptop. Now log into the into the router web configurator. So open a browser and type your LAN LAN IP. If you didn't change your LAN IP, then the default LAN IP address is 192.168.1.1. Now log in with your uh, w with the admin credentials. So username is admin, and if you didn't change the password or if you didn't log in before and change the password, then the default password is 1234. Now that you're logged in, click Network Setting, then Broadband. You've got to make a note of all this information in the general section. So for example, the mode, the encapsulation. You'll need to know your username and password if you're using PPPoE or PPPoA. So make a note of the username. The password is encrypted, so if you can't remember what it is, you'll have to contact your ISP. Also note your VPI and VCI, and keep this for later. You'll need a paper clip to push in the reset button, which is next to the power button. Hold the paper cl clip into the reset button for 10 seconds. You'll see that the power LED, the DSL LED and the internal LED all begin blinking together. So this means the reset is now starting. So you can remove the paper clip and then wait for the reset to finish and the router to restart. Uh, the power LED comes on steady green when it's restarted. Next, we're going to upgrade the firmware uh, using the web configurator. So you'll need uh, the same Ethernet cable connection from your LAN to your laptop. You'll see a no DSL connection screen because we unplugged the DSL cable and we also reset the router to the factory defaults. So as before, log in, 
uh, with the IP address 192.168.1.1 uh, Use admin as the username and uh, the default password is 1234 the next screen uh, prompts you to change the default password next go to uh, click maintenance firmware upgrade and then click choose file choose the firmware file that you downloaded in step one click open and then click upload it will it will upload the firmware first and then the router will restart after it has uploaded next reconnect the DSL cable that you disconnected before reconnect the DSL cable that you disconnected before now log into the web configurator again using 192.168.1.1 you'll need to use your new password that you just configured previously now the quick start wizard will automatically start choose the time zone where you are located next enter your broadband internet access information that you recorded previously so you will need to know your mode your encapsulation uh, if there's a username and password and uh, the, mu the multiplexing or and VPI and VCI then click next if you changed your wireless network settings the, the network name SSID then um, enter the new one that you had before and enter also the associated Wi-Fi network password that's the pre-shared key then click next uh, now the wizard is over so it saves the configuration back to your router the router is now cleaned of the Mirai uh, virus and any configurations that it may have done Thank you for listening to the video.